Join me as the multi-talented chef Sam Militello discusses condiments and their use in food preparation. I mean, you cook a lot. Food is a, an essential part of your life. So you must use a lot of condiments. I do use a lot of condiments. <laughs> I mean, I don't be cavalier about it, okay? I mean, you toss it aside like it's like, oh yeah, I chew a lot of gum or I, I, I drink a lot of soda pop. Well, I don't chew a lot of gum, but I do drink a lot of soda pop. <laughs> But, but condiments are not just a light decision. So it's like, you know, some people do put salt on, on French fries without really thinking about it. But I think you're a man who puts a lot of thought into the type of condiments you use on your food. So should we step back then and say salt is not a condiment? No, I think salt is the only true condiment. No, salt's a seasoning. No, it's salt a condiment. Well... That's interesting. I don't know. I looked up condiment. Did you look up condiment? Of course we looked up condiment. Yes, we looked up condiments. And why are we even here? Why are we blogging about condiments? Let's, let's let the people know why we're blogging to them about condiments. We're I think it's not something to be condiments. taken lightly. I think, it's, I think you have a responsibility to, to not only treat your food with respect, but to teach, treat your taste buds with respect. Well, but we're talking about the blogosphere, why we're giving this to the blogosphere. And the reason <laughs> is we search the blogosphere and there are not enough people talking about condiments. There are not enough, you are right. There are, not, there are people who are labeling condiments and there are people who are marketing condiments, but That's they're right. not truly discussing condiments. This is true. Well, not broadly, and they get narrowed. They get in their own condiment niche, and there you are, you know? Sometimes they can't catch up to the rest of the world. Well, that's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we got a lot of, you can do a lot of that with condiments, you know? That's, yes, in, yes, indeed. That's um, the way it is. So you sent me a list of questions, you know, and some of them were pretty fundamental, but like I said, first you had to look it up. One definition said it was like something like served on the side, you know, so... That's an interesting thing. And then, you know, are things condiments and other things? And I think condiments are, can be sets and subsets, right? I mean, they can be many things, so. I mean, there is a semantic quality about labeling something a condiment and then saying something is not a condiment. Right. But I, I, I look at it as anything that is complementary to a food that enhances its flavor is a condiment and generally added after the preparation itself. But your, your definition is pretty much the one that I came across that was m most universal. Well, I mean, they, they're people who like to lump in condiment spices and sauces as sort of additions. Now you are right, there's the general sense is that a condiment is only something that you add at the point of eating, at the point once it's prepared, like you can put in a sauce, with the roast beef, that's not, they, people might not consider that a condiment, but you have to, once it's cooked and you put it on a sandwich and you put a spread, they say that is a condiment. I say pretty much there's, there's condiments, there's pre-condiments, there are midterm condiments. And there are dual purpose condiments. <laughs> Pesto yes. can be both an ingredient, you know, a main sauce and a condiment. Uh, chili paste, which you're gonna, you can use both as an ingredient and a condiment. Mayonnaise, which is the most universal and ubiquitous in Western cookie, uh, cooking, I think, because you make dips, you make spreads, you, you can crust fish, you can uh, crust roasts with it. It's, uh, you know. It's so. a foundation condiment, really. Well, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. They say there's like three foundation yeah. condiments and mayonnaise is one of them. And? I forgot the other two. Well, I'd say mustard because must, mustard's the great emulsifier. That's true. Mustard is another one. Yeah. And I don't know, ketchup <laughs> or salsa. I mean, the most widely sold in the world is salsa, surpassing ketchup sometime in the early 2000s. Well, salsa is a tomato-based condiment and therefore is a cousin of, of ketchup. I, um, I'm sure I can go with that, you know. And, you can doctor up ketchup to make it sound seem like salsa. 
you know, and the great ones are the ones you come into later in life when you develop more sophisticated flavor. And that is there's a whole world, a whole universe of chili pastes, right? I mean, chili paste from New Mexico to Thailand to Mongolia, everybody's got a chili paste, except Scandinavians, I, I apologize, but you know. We have we have we have we have weak taste buds, frankly. I mean, I'm, I I'm, I'm bland. If I eat something spicy, my head starts to sweat. Yeah, I remember when I was a teenager going to uh, Denmark, and and the great thing I learned was to love uh, raw fish and uh, you know smorgasbord stuff. But you know, when the heaviest spice is dill, I'm not sure where that's taken you. You know, culinarily. <laughs> that means you, you you tend to rely on your smoking houses. And, and various salts. Well, that's what, I, that's, what I, that's what I was getting back to salt. I mean, the, the world would not have survived without salt. Salt cures everything. Salt cures ham, salt cures fish, salt cures vegetables. Well, salt is the, is the commodity that more wars and have been fought over, more people have died over salt than any other thing in the history of man. Yeah, some of that Trojan stuff was all about the search for salt, yeah. So, I mean, we are a creature that seeks out condiments and we continue to do it. Yes. Are we a condiment? Now that, <laughs> yeah, now that we have the basics, I mean, once you have salt, once you have table salt, then you can expand into the world of subtlety. Um, that is a luxury that modern man has. Mm -hmm.